Hey guys, we're gonna I'm back with another video, and today we have an old school commentary coming back, and we're gonna talk about Monica versus. Now, this game was. I'm gonna be honest, guys, it was a bit overhyped, uh, including, you know, from me. You know, everyone, you know, as soon as they see Monokama, they're just like, yes, awesome, new game. It came out, and it was fun uh, and different. Definitely new. Um, but it's just not what we were expecting. Now, the game has done well for itself. Um, but in terms of the community, especially the same one that I've been, you know, in for years, since like Monokama 1, and it was really like, at its honestly, at its highest peak, probably MC3. Um, and so with this game, it's just been, it's just been going downhill. But recently, the team did a live stream, and they talked about Update 5. Now, this update is completely changing the game, and I'm really hoping it gets it back up on its feet, and then hopefully the next update or two would, like, will really bring people back. Because I absolutely, I love the game. It's just... There are other games that I'd rather play. That's why I don't play it as much, or I don't show it on the channel, guys. It's not that I don't like it. It's just that I'd rather play something else. So, we're going to be talking about Update 5 here, guys. They released the complete patch notes, which is very, very long, which we're going to go over here. Uh, and I'll try to make it as simple as, as possible. And I'll also put this down in the description if you guys would like to read it at your own time. Um, and I will have some gameplay in the background of pre-update note, of uh, pre-update gameplay. Um, so you guys just see where it is right now as I'm talking about it. So, uh, here we go. So, we got a brand new map called Central. Um, which is, it's really cool. It's a nighttime, the first ever nighttime map. And it also has a environmental hazard. So, they actually showed gameplay of this is like, if you go inside, um, like there's like a few ways to get to the center of the map. And one of the ways, there's a wall run. You have to be careful because there are these lights. And if that light's red, that means a train is coming. And if you get hit by the train, you're dead. So, it's interesting that they added that, and actually guys, this isn't the first time I've seen this map. You get, it might be the first time for you guys, but I've actually seen this when I went to Montreal, I was invited out there for, um, you know, the team invited me there. And this map was actually like during like alpha or beta test, and so I've played the map before, uh, but obviously it's changed a ton. They added the environmental thing, they've added like different areas, they've, you know, tweaked the map to make it, you know, better. Um, and so, there we go, so we got a new map, which is awesome. Um, so, to acquire agents now, a lot of people have been saying that it's been hard and it's kind of annoying and I gotta agree with you there, guys. It is insanely annoying getting it. For me, it's not necessarily because since I'm, you know, a YouTuber and, um, I'm, you know, I talk to the team, you know, me and a few other YouTubers, like, we get the agents, like, they send it to us and we give them a try and give feedback and stuff. So, we already get to play it, but for you guys, it may be hard to get and it's just, it's annoying. So, um, in Update 5, agents cannot be found in loot crates. Um, now, that may sound bad, but we're just going to see how that plays out. But you play the game daily to acquire a new currency called Credits. And um, you open the loot that allows you to unlock new agents. And the agents now have the old rarity system, except it's it's they completely overhauled it. So, the rarity system does not affect their stats. It only affects their drop rate. So, if it's a legendary agent instead of like a common agent, you're more or less likely to get the common than the legendary. There's no stat difference, though. There's, of course, the different agents, like Ghost and Colt. They're different. Um, and so they're different rarities. There's common, rare, epic, exotic, legendary, and heroic. So you got a ton of rarities there to try to go for. Um, and they also um, they introduced agent upgrades. So you can now, if you have a specific agent, like let's say Monarch. Monarch is like my favorite agent right now. If I wanted to use Monarch and I played with him every single game, I'm going to start racking XP for myself, for my level, as well as XP for Monarch. And the more I upgrade Monarch, the more um, I'll have abilities for him. So I can, you know, upgrade his health, his ammo, um, and his ability power. And I'm a little concerned about that. I talked with Ollie, who is one of the devs over there, and I told him, like, dude, I don't know about this. Upgrading agents, their health, their damage. I'm really not a fan of stat changing things. And he's like, dude, I mean, don't worry about it. We'll see how it goes. But honestly, there are, um, like, everything, you know, we've worked on. We try to make it as balanced as possible. And, um, you know, all these agents have uh, counters to these agents. So we really, like, balance it out. And we really try to. And if not, you know, we'll tweak it out every now and then. So I told him, okay. 
We'll see. Um, and once you've acquired all these all these upgrades for one agent, um, there's like three, I believe, sections. So once you upgrade them all, you unlock their ultimate ability. And those, you know, we'll go over here in a second. So um, now agents have different abilities. They have an ultimate ability. You have their ability, and then there's like an added special buff to it, which is awesome. So um, let's, uh, we're going to take a look at that in just a second. But with loot crates, um, so all... All of your uh, currency you guys have right now will be converted into these new uh, with these new currencies. There's no more like that four slot um, care package now. Um, on the bottom, you're now able to open new crates. You know, at will, you can instantly open one. Um, your league no longer affects the content of the crates. Thank God. It's kind of annoying because like if someone doesn't have the amount of time that someone else has to play, it kind of sucks. You don't get as much from a crate. Um, and then um, we were talking about the new currencies. There's new uh, season change. So there's now sub leagues, uh, silver one, two, and three, just like MC5. Um, rewards will now be sent uh, instantly after you know they can promote it to a new league or sub league. Um, so trophies will no longer be reset except for players above master league. Um, and then the end of season rewards will now give tickets and credits. So tickets is another currency with as you play throughout the season you get tickets and tickets will give you um, the ability to purchase um, skins for your agents so you can pick out the ones you want instead of you know just if you win a season you get a specific you know skin um, in turn well if you, it was only if you got master you get a specific skin but now they've completely overhauled that so you just you get tickets now and you're able to choose which one so if I wanted a monarch skin and I passed my season you know like I finished with her and I got this many tickets I want to get you know monarch uh, and if you don't have enough or something, you can always, you know, play next season, you get more. And uh, they've also added uh, operations or contracts, I believe. So basically, you know, you get rewards as you play, you know, daily stuff. And, you know, one of them is even, you can even get tickets from that. Um, power level has been uh, revamped. So we'll kind of, don't really need to talk about that. You guys will see that when it comes out. Um, your agent mastery is a level that um kind of describes just your agent so like my agent mastery for monarch could be a thousand or something which would be like insane that means like whoa this guy uses monarch a lot um and so it really kind of just puts you in a stance of like which agent you really want to you know help out and which one you really want to play with um and then you know there'll, there'll be more special events so now um they now have the ability to have multiple events running at once so there you go um, we already talked about contracts, uh, eSport changes, so there have been rules changed, um, they've been prizes that have been changed, so just a lot of stuff there. Uh, there's now MPV MVP bonuses for both teams. Um, there is now um, like uh, just certain little things like the names and descriptions of many weapons and abilities have is, has been upgraded. Um, and you can now, it says gifting currencies between climates has been disabled and they will be replaced by a new feature and a new update. So there's that. Um, there are just some, you know, gameplay changes here. Um, they fixed a lot of bugs. They've added, you know, some new v, uh, VFX. Um, the bounty game mode has been changed a little bit. Um, and they've, they've basically, look, so BlackRock, Apex, Slums, Sandstorm, have all been uh, changed. They've mod out. They've modified the layout of them to help you, you know, better just improve the map as a whole. They fixed a lot of bugs. Um, and then in terms of agent balancing, they've basically touched every single agent. So I don't want to go through each one, guys. But if you guys, you know, are welcome to read this, like Tower, they increased his self bash, his self inflict bash damage to 75% um, from 50. They decreased the shield health to uh, 10,000 instead of 12,500. And there's all this, like, they touched every single one. I'm still scrolling. Um, and the last thing we're going to be talking about here is the max level ability. So, um, as soon as you upgrade your agent completely, you get his ultimate level, his ultimate ability. And so we're going to go over each one. So for Locke, his ultimate ability is Team Recon. So... Uh, revealed enemies are now seen by teammates and then locks extra damage on the revealed enemies is boosted by 10% more um, Which is awesome and they've, they've also um, They've also upgraded uh, or buffed or nerfed their stats for their ability So I'm not gonna go over that. I'm just gonna go over their ultimate ability. Uh, I know this is a lot to take and I'm just like talking and talking and talking but um, But seven her ability is now refill so bullets are returned to seven sniper upon successful hits 
Uh, tower's ability is unbreakable, so a shield regenerates health if no damage is taken after a few seconds. Uh, Ghost has a Hunter ability, which if Ghost eliminates a target, he instantly cloaks again. So you can like chain cloak, which I was, that that's what I was a little skeptical about. I was like, oh god, he can just be invisible over and over again. But it only works with squishies. Like if I, you know, if I'm Ghost and I stab a tower, he's not going to die in one hit. So I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to be invisible. Um, Swift, so her rewind ability leaves an explosion now that stuns enemies for 1.5 seconds. Uh, Monarch. His ability, which I absolutely love the name, La Magnifique. I hope I'm pronouncing that. It's French, but uh, it increases his movement speed and fire rate by 20% and reload speed by 50% when the pistol is equipped. Uh, Duke's ability splits his touchdown adds fire damage, which harms the enemies for 12, uh, 1280 damage over a span of four seconds. Uh, Revolve now has Showtime, which is uh, each kill increases the duration of gun show. So if, I, if you're on a spree, you can basically go on a limited amount of gun show, theoretically, you know, but after you kill, you know, all the people on their team, they have to respawn, so, you know. Uh, Blaze now adds a third cluster explosion that causes devastating damage. Nox, uh, his turret regenerates health if no damage is taken after four seconds. Uh, Ronin, uh, deflected damage is converted to health. Oh boy. Uh, Minu. Uh, increase her weapon damage by 20% and health regeneration by 50. Uh, Colt. Uh, Colt can stack and place two poison traps. Oh my god. Um, Creeper can now teleport. Well, his teleport leaves a poison smoke, which um, slows and damages enemies. Uh, Chapka now has unlimited ammo when inside her own trap. Uh, and Khan's dome heals all teammates at 15% per second. So, honestly... Um, like, I've been recording this for a while now, this video, but it's, it's a lot to take in. I'll leave this down in the description if you guys would like to read all this. But basically, the bottom line, this update's huge. Um, and hopefully this really helps the game because honestly, I love the game. I want it to be better. Um, I want to like hop in and like really like play and have, you know, have you guys really support it and just go all out. Honestly, it looks really, really fun, um, with the updates and a little bit... At points broken, I hope it's not. I'm hoping it all works out. If not, you know, um, you guys can always tell me feedback and I'll send it to the devs or you can uh, contact them on their Facebook or Twitter or whatever. And uh, yeah, so it's a lot to take in, guys. But let me know what you guys think of just this huge update that's coming soon. They said by the end of the month, uh, but the fact that they released all these patch notes, I'm assuming it's going to come sometime this week. So just get ready for that. I mean, it's basically the end of April anyways. So stay tuned this week for the updates. And you guys know I'll have a video up as soon as it hits and hopefully get back into the swing of it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.